strategy. So that's a, so two of those questions I can't answer. Because that really is on your self-determination yeah. and you all deciding what are the most important issues. I would say if, as you are building this, get your list, prioritize them, and then say we're going to get this win. Let me tell you, change comes incrementally. So I tell people get a win. Yep. Get, a, get a tangible win okay, that cool. other people can see. And because people want to be part of success, but right now everybody's like, Man, it's nothing will change, we can't do nothing about it. Oh, they're gonna do it to us. Well, can I tell you what? When you move from them doing it to us to you doing it to them, they will, re they will respond. Politicians respond to two things they look at you in one of two ways how can you help me, or how can you hurt me? And so, be in a position to do either or. And that is by having your people and making them stand together. Now, once you got your list, then you invite them to the forum with 300 people, and I'll be like, ain't no pictures. No pictures. This is what we came to talk about. But I think you have to, the first thing you have to just remember is it's about your self interest. Your self interest. Politics, the problem for black folks with politics also is we take it altruistically. We are like, oh, we want to be fair. You get everything you can, and then you share after you get it. But you don't give it up, because ain't nobody in the room saying, what about the black people? Nobody's saying, what about South Shore? And so until South Shore says, what's up, what's up for South Shore? Until black people say, and you're legislators, and you got self-interest in a variety of places. But it really requires you to understand how can I help you? How can I hurt you? Where is your email list? Right? When something happens, how do you communicate? Where is your social media team that says, Alderman, bam, 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 bam. look, y'all, we got a call. The Alderman should be tweeted, Facebook, social media. Like, when there's an issue, what's the plan to get the information to people to take the action? Let me tell you, if 100 people show up, on an issue consistently, mm -hmm. the alderman will fold. Hello. What have you spoken on in a unified voice that no matter where they go, it's the same thing? Pick one first. Pick one. One thing. Two. Okay. Get a win. Okay. <laughs> Who has a question? I, I have Before a question. we move in. But okay. real quick question. We have meetings like this all the time and Yet I see no progress. That's what bothers me about um, getting things done in the South Shore area. We it seems to me we talk a good game, we come together, we, we do a lot. Organization, this organization is fighting this, this organization is fighting this. There's no togetherness. And that's what you're saying that we need to do. One issue. Pick one right. thing exactly. and practice working together. One thing. But how Don't do take we, my question to you is how do we get everybody together on this one issue? You, th you use this room. So let me tell you. Exactly. People want to be part of success. Everybody will watch to see if you win or lose. When you win, then you, there will be more people. And then when you win again, there will be more people. Pick a win that people care about. And you all say that I can't speak for nobody else but this room. When we, when, when Alderman such and such come by this place, if you live on this block, it better be a sign in everybody window that say we want pothole on this street fixed. And if you don't fix it, we ain't, don't even come over. Here. So that's what we should start today. As um, Dr. Pick Carol said, we, we need to you know make a decision and do something. So that we can take a progress step to the next meeting instead right. of just. Uh, well, I think you, but what I think, can I just say this for a minute? I think so, you have to find, though, Val, that you all have to collaborate, mm -hmm. right? You all have to collaborate, and it has to be, you know, really, I see so many times when, when these means, and I'm not here to tell South Shore, and I wasn't brought here to help you solve your problem from the standpoint of helping you put your list together. I think I was brought here today as I talked to Val about really helping us communicate about self-interest. Mm -hmm. I'm not here mm -hmm. to help you do your agenda because I don't live in yeah. South Shore. Exactly. But what I am here to do today is to really help you understand your collective power and understand that there's a real game being played 
and you're not you're getting played. Exactly. So after after because this is this is go home and go have your evangelist. Go I'm evangelizing with that. Yeah. I came here to evangelize. I didn't come to make a, yeah. I didn't make the list. Because yeah. there's work that's going on exactly. consistently in various pods. Exactly. Right? This is bringing it together. Val, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So with all of that being said can't give a pass to me. <laughs> well, I do want to think I, I, what we want to talk about is what should be our priority that one thing we all can get around think of five things and then think of one thing we can all get around as we move forward Stephanie has a clipboard for folks who's willing to work on the committee as we form this agenda so in January we have our candidates form. It's all. It's not. It's not random. It's not. Oh, we just had a candidates form. No, we have an agenda. Are you with us or not? End of story. So that the community can move with the agenda. Period. That's where we're going with this. So what I'm going to ask is, if you all, I heard tips. I heard something from around taxes. Did I hear anything else? Yes, that's you heard too. about people, they wanted a, gear, a mortgage guarantee program. Yeah. Is that, that yeah. so that's yeah. housing? Yeah. What else? Share government contracts. Share contracts. government contracts? Yes. Have anybody ever heard of maintenance integration? You know what it is? It, so in Oak Park, they have a program where they have instituted maintenance integration where 50% of the, 51% of the indigenous people had to stay there. They couldn't have outside folks coming in over 51%. We need someone to do the research on that to see how we implement that legislation because it's on the books. Now, how do we get it? And we didn't know that, did we? So what I'm saying is, we need we this this doesn't happen with that. I'm the organizer. I'm not the brain. I'm not the genius. It's in the room, and as a collective body, we can put a tight agenda together with expectations and even timelines for our elected officials on when these things should occur. Who's down? Who has some skin in the game? That's all I'm saying. Because if you say you're tired of coming to me, just to me, then you gotta have some skin in the game. Stephanie, where are you? Here I am. Okay, bring the list up. <laughs> so Stephanie has a volunteer list, but before we go, what are the issues that we are looking at? Housing? Tip? Tip? No. Taxes. Taxes? Taxes. Police. Contract. Okay, who's writing this down? I am. Okay. Economic development. What else? Policing. Policing. Now, yes. You have the list. Yeah. Can you send it to all the I can do a survey and we can do the survey and identify those things. Yeah, email you like that. So you can you have that with me because there's some things that I think I know mm -hmm. and understand. Plus, but I'm not sure. Okay. So it's really good. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is give us a few days to get out the, pop, the the notes for this meeting and do a survey and we identify those things and when the second date for the next meeting should come. We have to be prepared for this next election. Can I just suggest so, one thing real quick also? Um I, I just I just want to encourage you all. Uh, we are trying to raise awareness to issues so please feel free if it's something that's going on something that you need illuminated you want to raise the awareness send us the information and we definitely will make sure that we serve as collaborative partners can i just make one suggestion on here? just one so i know y'all got the big high tech the 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 list of we're gonna fix the tips we're gonna fix housing we're gonna fix can i just make one suggestion one could you fix a pothole first? No, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. If you fix a pothole or an issue that everybody knows and hates, and you say, this was won by 
working together, and everybody hates that pothole, then they will start to come in for other things. People are, most people want the simple stuff. You, and you use the people with the simple stuff to make the big stuff happen. That's right, yes. So, just real quick in response to what the sister said a moment ago, there are existing organizations working on things. And I think what people need to understand is, if you're serious about this, you have to join one of them. Mm. These things don't happen from individuals. And so I think the other thing we ought to give out to the community is a list of how they can be down. Who's yeah. working on what? You've got the South Shore Chamber of Commerce very actively working on the economic development and attraction of businesses to the community. You've got folks working on how we can form collectives to buy the community. We have to be stopping. We have to think about wealth creation and not about how to stay poor, or better ways to keep this little bit. It's a bait and switch to have you looking at those kinds of things instead of looking at how to own the community. So all our narrative comes from being afraid somebody's going to put your salad and you ain't bought a damn thing. <laughs> okay? So if you're not working on that, if you don't own it, you can't keep it. Okay? So they're doing workshops almost every month through the chamber about how you can buy, how you can get first-time mortgage money, how you can get in. We've got people who moved into the community with House of Choice vouchers, Section 8. Half the time we spend our time talking about how they should have been here instead of how you're going to integrate them in your community and teach them that they can use the Section 8 voucher to buy a house. That's the kind of thing yeah. we need to do. Yes. We have to buy the block. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Now. So, let's just give Mays a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you.